another way to, you know, quit, do quizzes, review, ask the kids questions. This, you have to have iPads or device for them to do. And on Kahoot, you use, again, use the website on your computer to create the questions. And then the kids would use the device. I'm going to suggest right now, download this on your device that you have, Kahoot, because you're going to need it and you can actually, it's easier to play along. And you're doing this so that you can play along with me. So if you have an iPad lab in your room, that's how this works. So Kahoot is cool because you can make your own Kahoots, what they call them, or you can search Kahoot's library of pre-made ones. And <coughs> subject, I mean, there's so many on there. And they can I do this one? No, it's not art. Like, right. Can I do a sports one? No, you need to, we're in the art room, you need to do art. Or if they want to do music, they can do music. <laughs> um, you can also take what's created already from someone else and duplicate it and you put it on your Kahoot list, but you can go in and edit it. So I found like a second grade printmaking, but some of the questions were like, it's terrible. And I changed it. So in Kahoot, and the login is actually through, when you go to Kahoot.com on your computer and you go to log in, you actually log in through Microsoft because it will log in through your OS. 0365 account because it's connected with the county somehow. So when you go to log into Kahoot, I hit login and you're going to actually log in with Microsoft because it'll go in through the 0365. See? And I just. <coughs> So it kind of makes it one less password that you have to worry about, which is nice. So here's like the home screen. 